Hey there, welcome to Visual Survey channel where we help you visualize and analyze survey data in Tableau. Now Visual Survey is a self-service software that helps you analyze, visualize, and create amazing dashboards, reports, and interactive presentations in Tableau very quickly and easily without any experience required. Now if you're interested in learning more about our software, you can visit us at visualsurvey.com. Now in this video, we're going to be talking about how to analyze market research data, uh, specifically multiple choice questions. Now multiple choice questions uh, usually get people uh, messed up a little bit because you have that thing where you have to count distinct respondents in order to get the correct count because one person can answer the question more than once um, and that will mess up if you're trying to count rows. Now, the, now in this video, we're gonna show you three different ways to visualize this multiple choice questions and three different charts, then also talk about the caveat of how to get the correct uh, percent of total when using Tableau. So if you end up liking this video, please subscribe and like uh, this video because we will be creating a lot of more videos around how to analyze and visualize survey data um, and create some cool dashboards. Uh, now, if you would like to follow along, there is a, a dashboard template that you can download using the link below uh, so that we can uh, start at the same point and create these charts together. Now, the data that is in the dashboard template that you will be downloading uh, has already been ran through Visual Survey. So you'll notice it's in a very nice, clean format, uh, already structured perfectly. Um, and it's not in that kind of wild, wild west format that you get out of survey platforms. Um, so we will be working with already cleaned and transformed data. Um, as you see, it will make things a lot easier easier. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the video. I'll see you there. All right, here we are in the Tableau beginner file. Like I said, if you don't have this file, download it. It'll have the data already preloaded in it so that you can follow along in this video and create these charts with me. Uh, so first thing we wanna do, so this data, uh, I'll show you real quick. Like I said, it's already pre-cleaned because it's been run through a visual survey. Um, so we created this cleaning methodology that gets this data exported in a perfect output. Uh, so actually you'll notice there is uh, multiple surveys in here from multiple survey platforms. So we got some survey gizmo data. Um, we have, let me see if I go to data filters. Um, so Google Forms, so Question Pro, Type Form, Zoho, Get Feedback, all that. So there's actually a whole bunch of surveys in here from different survey platforms that we ran through the software. Um, but on this one, we're just going to look at the survey gizmo data. Um, and then I have all these standardized columns here um, that um, that we use to to help us create the visualizations. All right. So in here, we're going to first grab our question type. So we see what kind of question types we have in here. Let's grab our final question. So see all the questions. And then I like, I created a, a column or there's a column in there called abbreviations, like a little short snippet of the, of the question. So when you start the software, um, start date, all right? How satisfied are you with the following features? Satisfied with features, okay? Um, since we're gonna be doing multiple choice, let's just filter to be multiple choice. Uh, we have these two questions. What makes you continue to retain this software? Uh, which of the following images best describe uh, the software? Um, I'm just gonna use the abbreviation just so we can keep those out. So I'm gonna remove these. Now we have our answer columns, bring that in. We can see the answers for each of these questions. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this null. So I'm just gonna right click, do exclude. And then now we can bring in our rows. Okay, so now these are the number of respondents that answered these questions. Now for questions like this, where it's multiple choice, if we try to do a quick table calculation percent of total, um, then it's not gonna give us our right percent of total because this is all gonna add up to 100% compared to if we do it with uh, distinct respondents. And that would make more sense once I show you, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is do the calculated field and create it. So I'm gonna do create calculated field, and this is respondents. And it's a count D, it's count distinct of our respondent ID. 
and I'm gonna bring that in. All right, now it's going to be the same number for now, right? Because we're counting essentially rows right here. Where the difference lies is when you try to do a percent of total. So this, this measure here is just row count. If I do a percent of total with this, right? It's gonna give me a percent of total currently, it looks like it's doing all of these are percent of total. But I want it to do a pane down. And then it's gonna give me this as 100. So it's gonna reset per uh, question. Now if I do respond it and I do a percent of total, make sure it's paying down. You see the numbers are different because this is row count, so this is gonna add it to 100%, but for multiple choice questions, it's not gonna always add up to 100%. It's gonna usually be more because one person can answer that question more than once. So this is the real count because, um, because you can have, like I said, one person answer the question twice or three times with different answers. So you have to do this uh, respondent ID one to get the true value. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. Okay, so here's the questions. Here is the answer columns. Here's the percent of totals. Uh, another thing I like doing is um, bringing out my abbreviation as a quick filter. So I'm gonna right click, show filters. All my abbreviations for all my surveys um, are, are for all the questions are right here. Um, I wanna do only uh, relevant values. And I'm also gonna make this a radio. All right, so that I can pick between my two questions. All right, and I'm gonna call this my data table. All right, so now we got the basis done. Now this is the important part. Um, now from here we do the chart building. So I'm just gonna right click this tab and I'm gonna do a bar chart for this one. All right, everybody <laughs> loves bar charts, bar charts are the most popular thing in Tableau because they're really the most powerful. <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of abbreviation. In my title, I'm gonna double click here and you can insert your abbreviation here so it shows up at the top. So when you're changing your abbreviation, your questions, you can see that abbreviation at the top. You also put your final question text there if you want. Um, you just grab your final question text, put it in like the tooltip so it's somewhere on the view, and then you'll have the option to do it there. Um, I, let's just go ahead and do it for fun just to kind of show you. So go there, bring it in, and instead we can do the final question. Put one or the other in there, doesn't really matter. Um, and then the question will go across. All right, so now I wanna convert this to a bar chart. All right, I wanna see my percent of total. So I'm gonna hold control, bring this into the labels. All right, I got my percent of total. Another cool thing to do, especially because you're gonna be using this percent of total all the time, is you can make this into a saved calculation. So I'm gonna hold control, I'm gonna bring this over to my data table. And then it's going to ask me to name it. I'm just going to name it percent of total. And now I don't have to do that step every time. I can just use this calculation for everything. Uh, also, you can do a default property and, uh, and save the formatting as something different. So I'm going to right click default properties, number formatting, and I'm going to do decimal with no decimal place or percentage with no decimal place. Okay. Uh, from here, just kind of clean it up. Uh, I like my bars a little thicker. Um, we're gonna maybe pick a color for it. Uh, I don't like the grid line, so we can right click format. We go to lines, we go to columns, we can get rid of the grid lines. All right, we can get rid of this answer column thing here. And you see, we got this question and this question. We can sort both. And you have your bar chart. All right, and this would be your bar chart for all your multiple choice type questions. Calculation is all the same. You just use the same bar chart over and over again for all of them. You had a, you know, 50 multiple choice questions. They'll all be listed here and you can go through all 50 of them. All right, so this is one way you can visualize a multiple choice, which is probably the most common. Uh, another way, let's go ahead and I'm gonna duplicate this to kind of just save me a little time. Uh, another way is a donut chart or a pie chart, either one. Uh, I like donuts 
so I do a donut chart, you know, kind of, I guess pie charts are kind of going out of style, but if you put a, a blank circle on top of it, it looks cool. So we're going to go with a donut chart. Um, I'm going to just kind of take everything off so that I can kind of create this from scratch. A donut chart is kind of like an intermediate chart type. It's not in the show me, but it's really easy to make. Um, I'm going to show you how to make it. It's pretty simple, but you just double click in here and you're going to type in min one like that. And essentially I'm doing this just to create two axes because I'm gonna make a pie chart at the top, make just a circle at the bottom, and then I'm gonna do a dual axis to put it on top to make it look like a donut chart. It's not really a donut chart in Tableau, but it looks just like it. Uh, I'm gonna hold control and click and drag this over so that there's two axes. And then now I have these two, um, I have all, which I'm not gonna mess with, but then I have the first one, which is this one, the second one, which is this one, okay? So I'm gonna go with the first uh, mark card here. And I'm gonna bring in my answer values, my answer columns into my color. I'm gonna change this from automatic to a pie. And I'm gonna put my percent of total in my angle. That's gonna start generating my pie chart. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a fit entire view so I can see it better. So at the top, I got my pie chart going. All right, I'm gonna change my colors. So I don't like those colors. I'm gonna go with uh, Visual Surveys color palette. All right, so I got uh, the colors there. You can then uh, do some transparency if you like and add some borders. Uh, I'm gonna add some labels. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make sure you hold control because control duplicates the pillar or else you're gonna mess up and move it. Hold control, put that in the labels. All right, so we got pretty much the top done. Now the bottom is you just do a circle all right, we're just gonna do a white and we're gonna do a border and we're gonna make it a little smaller and we're gonna have to play with this some. But what we're gonna do is now just do, just do a dual axis and stack these on top of each other. So I'm gonna go here, do dual axis and it just stacks it on top. So it looks like a pie chart, right? Um, it, it just, we just got trick tablet into building one for it. So I'm gonna play with the size until I get a good size I like. All right, that looks good. Um, and now we got all these lines everywhere that you wanna get rid of. So just right click and format. Up here, you have um, you have your different lines. So you got column dividers you wanna get rid of probably. Um, and then you got this line going across I don't want. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of my headers too while I'm, while I'm at it. And that's the, the grid line I believe. Yep, that's the grid line. So now we got a kind of nice clean uh, clean look um, and then I mean that's pretty much it like that's the, the donut chart you can also add for example like your respondent counts in your tooltips if you like so I could put that in my tooltips you want to see the respondent counts and then you can go in here and clean up your tooltips uh, so you don't need this you just call this answers if you like um, so you can kind of clean it up play with that you could put your uh, your respondents in your labels too if you want to show that and then you can go in here and play with this some. Sometimes I do this and I'll maybe do hard code parentheses, something like that, or italicize it so you can kind of see what's going on. It's up to you, however you want to really look at it. Or you can make you know this a little bigger. I mean, as you know, probably if you deal with Tableau, there's a million different features you can play with in Tableau. Okay, But that same thing, and this works for all of them. Okay, um, you might have to play with the coloring some because it's you assign colors in each, so you might have to go in here and play with coloring. But uh, but that's pretty much how you would do a donut chart. So you can either do the donut chart like this. You could do the regular bar chart. You could do a text table, um, or we could do one more that I like doing whenever I like splitting data. Okay, because usually you want to like segment data sometimes. You want to see, all right, well, how does males and females look? Which you can do like this. So if I bring gender out and put it in columns, um, I split it out. Right now, this is uh, this is this is Noel, so somebody didn't answer it. We can get rid of this, right? But now I have two pie charts: one for male, one for female. Uh, same thing for the the bar chart. You can put this into rows or columns and segment it, right? Or you can put this into color. Uh, and create like a stacked bar chart. You don't have to play with that a little bit, but that's what we're gonna do in the next one. Um, or you can put, leave it like this and 
hold control and put gender and a color and have two different ones. And then I exclude this, right? But the cool thing is the data is in this perfect structure where you can do all this within a, a couple of clicks. And that's what makes Visual Survey so uh, so powerful because the data is already in a perfect stru structure. Now, with, with Visual Survey, you already have all these dashboards built out for you. So you don't have to build all these from scratch. Um, but you know, this is kind of a cool way of getting some practice so that you can see kind of what's going on and how everything is working. All right, so I'm gonna undo some of this so I get back to where I was. And we're gonna build one more. So let's go ahead and let's duplicate this bar chart. And we're gonna use this to start off with. Now, let's say we want to put, let's put, let's put region into color. And I'm gonna flip this. Uh, actually, now let's put gender. That's too much going on. So we got gender. We have a, a null in there. We can get rid of that, right? So I can just click and exclude. Um, now we wanna make sure that we're doing a percent of total going down, right? So let's just double check it. It should be it, but let's see. So it needs to be on answer columns. Okay, so yeah, so we got our percent of total. Could play with the coloring like this. Uh, I like using my colors. All right, we could play with the coloring like this. All right, and now we have this split up by a, a filter or something, right? Um, so we can see the difference between the two. Uh, we also can um, kind of play with it and add another another one in. So let's grab, where is it, uh, region. Put that into columns and have this like segmented like this. Uh, and actually region is age, so let's go ahead and change that to age. And we can have it segmented out like that. Okay, um, and then you can kind of see the difference between all the ones. Now I'd probably change the coloring a little bit uh, and or, you know, maybe fit it so it's a little better. Got to get rid of this knoll here. Uh, but you can now segment this data by, uh, by using another field to kind of cut it up. Another way we can do it um, is we can take out age, take out gender. All right, so we have our, our regular bar chart here. We can also put, let's grab, where's our age again? Okay, age here. Let's put answer columns into color instead. So we're kind of just swapping it, right? And now we can see all the different ages going across. Our answer column is our ages, or our answer column is our answers, okay? So, and we can make sure, this this percent of total, yep, it's on, okay. So now we're looking for, you know, 17 or younger. This is how they answered, 18 to 20, this is how I answered. And we can kind of see what the difference is between each, um, each age group. All right, so this is another cool way of looking at it. All right, so now since we have the data structured this way, you can cut and slice the data in a lot of different ways. Um, so this one, uh, I'm just gonna call this a, a stacked bar chart. But this is used whenever you wanna segment the data. Okay, essentially it's like the, the regular bar chart, but you can uh, segment the data by either putting your answer columns in color, or you can put either age or gender in a color, um, or a mix and match of being able to put like age here, and then uh, we can grab gender and put that in the columns. So you can play with this as much as you want, and just clicking and dragging those pills into the different locations, okay? Um, but this is used whenever you wanna compare a group of people. All right, so we got the data table, we got the bar chart, we have the donut chart, and we have the stacked bar chart. All right, so these are the ones that I use the most when using multiple choice. Um, if there is any other ones, I'd like to see it. Um, I'd like to hear what it is, so please comment below what that is. Uh, but these are the ones I like doing the most. All right, thanks for getting to the end of the video. As you saw, we have three different charts, uh, including that text table, so four uh, of ways we can analyze that data and visualize it, um, depending on how you want to look at it. Um, there's also you know, a lot more. So if there's any charts that you like that uh, I didn't cover in the, the multiple choice chart style kind of video, uh, please comment down below of the chart style you like, and then I will uh, look at all the comments and probably make another video showing uh, the different chart ways 
ways of doing that. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. This is very creative, um, but these are the kind of the three that I like the most, but I'll be interested in seeing what you do with it. All right, well, please subscribe and like, like I was saying, uh, and hopefully you can uh, see some more videos and we'll come back later and show you some new things. All right, see ya.